Welcome to the Invivo Repair Centre. I'm just going to show you the um, Thunder support upgrade which enables you to dock a Lightning connector Apple device into a Sound Dock Original Series 1. So we're covering the features of this kit and I'm just going to show you how it's fitted and everything else. Um, if you want to stream music and charge your uh, Lightning iPhone or device or iPod Touch then you need one of these. This is a genuine Apple lightning 30 pin adapter this will plug into here if i remove it from the, the backing 30 pin on one side lightning on the other and then you can plug it into your bose sound dock original and that will uh, play music uh, no problem at all uh, and if you put the the, I, the iphone on the top you end up with this kind of uh, very wobbly uh, arrangement um, the thing flopping all over the place not very good at all. Don't know who thought that was going to be a good idea, but that's what they did. But you need one of these to have to um, play the sound through here. Now, what we supply for the Sound Dock Original Series One, so unplug that for a moment, is the Invivo Thunder converter support, um, and this accommodates the uh, Apple Lightning device, the Lightning to 30 pin converter. There's one there. This is this fitted in there. The one we supply in this kit is uh, around about um, two or three pounds on the internet, the actual adapter part, because it only charges. And the reason we supply one that only charges is that a lot of people have already got these. And um, they so they don't need to spend the 20 to $30 or 20, 25 pounds to get the genuine Apple part. So. Um, you can charge just fine on this. It will, you can plug your phone on and it will charge. And of course, if you've got Bluetooth, you can still stream by Bluetooth. You can take advantage of the, the charging. But if you want to stream music via the USB, via the Lightning connector, then you need the genuine Apple part. And when you order this online on our website, there is an option to add the genuine Apple adapter to the, uh, to the order, in which case we, we ship you one of these and one of these together and then we expect you to unpack and remove. So I'm just going to show you the fitting procedure for fitting the thunder support into the uh, into the dock. Okay so inside this pack actually just show you you've got the silicon pads there's three silicon pads and the thickness of them the depth of them varies depending on which Apple device you have you just fit the right pad to suit your device. You've got the generic charging uh, lightning to 30 pin adapter You've got the actual cradle support and you've got the adapter part which adapts this cradle support to fit the Sound Dock original, okay? So I've got one unpacked here and here's the items that are in the box unpacked, okay? So the first thing you need to do is to, if you have a docking adapter fitted to your dock, one of these things, you take it out and just ensure that this area around here is clean and full of and dust free because there is an adapt there is adhesive pad which goes onto there okay so just make sure it's clean now you take the uh, the adapter and the cradle support um, and then you push it's supplied like that and what you need to do the first thing is to push this up until about that much is showing of the adapter and of course if you want to swap it out for the genuine apple one you do it at this stage and the writing on the adapter goes at the back and the little, there's a little mark on there, I don't know if you can see it on the genuine adapter. That goes at the front. So you can swap these over if you want to use the genuine one. And uh, you take the, uh, the adapter piece and you snap it over like that. Okay, so it's sitting flat in the adapter and these two lugs are over the, the front piece and the rear support holder is engaged in the back. What this adapter does, it converts the Sound Dock original to a standard Apple docking device. Um, it's, it's a, there is a standard Apple insert specification and this adapter piece, the external surround frame, converts that into uh, the standard Apple part so the standard Apple, Apple adapter will fit. And peel off the adhesive backing here you can see on the back of here there is adhesive backing simply peel it off like that and then by holding it 
tip forward like this just drop it into position and push it down okay and that has now secured the adapter into the unit and the last thing you've got to do to engage the uh, the connector is to push this down and that locks into the 30 pin connector underneath okay so now we select a pad and i'm guessing it's probably this one for the iphone we have you now have this you have a sturdy support for your 30 pin to lightning adapter and then you can plug your phone on like so and now it's supported you can see from the back you have support there and that's what it looks like when it's fitted <laughs>